So guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for watching my channel. Breaking news, breaking news. Quarantine exemption extended to nine, nine months for fully vaccinated individuals. Quarantine exemption extended to nine, nine months for fully vaccinated individuals. That is the latest information or the latest advancement by the Minister of Public Health, uh, Minister of Public Health. It actually announced that uh, due to the global studies looking at the effectiveness of the vaccines in, uh, in, in Qatar, uh, we are talking about the vaccine, the two vaccines that are being admit, uh, administered, that is Moderna and Pfizer. At all people that f previously got the, the two shots of the vaccine, we are given a probation period of six months. But now, the probation period has been extended to nine months. For all vaccines administered in Qatar will be extended from the previous approved six months to nine months with effect from May. That is a very great news. What does it mean to you? That if you are fully vaccinated, you no longer need to quarantine yourself in the hotel. You will not need to quarantine yourself, but you only need to have a negative PR test from your country of origin. And for those that are fully vaccinated with the two doses, either Mondena or Pfizer, you'll have a gross period extended to nine months, which is going to be of great advantage. How is it? You'll have more freedom to do whatever you have to do. That is what it means. You no need to quarantine yourself. However, this latest announcement, it is one of the measures to lift on the restrictions that we have published earlier. And remember, at the same time, we are talking about a situation whereby CDC, that is the Center for Disease Control in the United States, approving the Pfizer vaccine for the kids between 12 to 15 years. Meaning that these kids will also have freedom to go back to school without fear. Remember, all this is done because we are trying to control the spread of the pandemic, which has become a global threat to all economies in the world. Not only in the economic way, but even the healthy sector. Look at the violence, that the new violence we're getting in India, where very many people have been able to lose their lives. Very many people have lost their lives. We have to look at the restrictions that each country get to put in place all the time. These are all to make sure they control the spread of the pandemic. So what does the extension mean? The extension means that the vaccinated people will now have longer to take advantage of the additional privilege. What are the additional privileges we are talking about? We are talking about those privileges where you can freely move, where you do not need to quarantine, where you will not be restricted to move from one country to another, where you will not be restricted to move with from one country, from one area to another. Those are the additional privileges we are talking about. What restrictions are we talking about? Restrictions of gathering. However, a point to note, the precautionary measures will still have to stand because we need to take care of one another. We need to take care of the families. We need to protect our relatives. We need to protect our friends. But the big advantage is that you will not be restricted to movement. 
But however, a point you have to note is that this exemption does not include the six countries we talked about before. Remember the six countries that we are exempted or that have to do quarantine for 10 days. Those are countries we, those are countries coming from Asia. We look at countries like India because of the violence of the corona pandemic in India where very many people have lost their lives. We look at countries like Philippines, countries like Pakistan, countries like Sri Lanka and Nepal. They will still have to take a mandatory 10-day quarantine and they will have to provide a negative PCR test certificate from a certified health center. If you did not watch that video, please check in the link below. I'll put the video. You can also look at those videos. You can click on that link and it will get you back to those videos. The mandatory quarantine for the six countries. And what does it mean? As per the announcement, It will clear up. Guys will be able to move. Guys remember, the corona pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, has totally distorted the economic situation in all over the world. We look at the economic situation, low income of people, jobs lost, factories closed down, Look at the healthy sector in some countries being dismantled completely. So the exemption which extends it to, 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 to nine months, I think it is of very great value. So guys, if you have not been vaccinated, please apply for the vaccine, take the vaccine. As per the CDC, the vaccine is safe. The, va the vaccines are safe for use. And it is the only way we are going to control the, pan the spread of the pandemic. It is the only way we are going to protect our families. It is the only way we are going to protect our countries. And it's the only way we are going to protect our loved ones by being vaccinated. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thank you for watching. What would you think of the exemption, especially for people that are fully vaccinated? Probation from six months to nine months exemption. No hotel quarantine. You have free travel movements as many times as you can. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing.